You are welcome to another video of ISIS routing protocol concept and configuration. In the previous section, we had an ISIS configuration example, but in a topology with single area. In this section, we will again implement ISIS, but in a topology with multiple area. We will also see how configuring net address and also type of the ISIS router and interfaces, if there are level one or level two, differs in a topology with multiple area. In this topology, three area exist and all areas are connected to each other directly. Connection between areas are established over the backbone pass, which is created by level two routers. As you can see, three areas are connected via router IOU1, 3, and 5, which form the backbone pass. These three routers are of the type of level 1, level 2, which are connected to the inside of area with level 1 interfaces and to the backbone pass with level 2 interfaces. To implement ISIS, a net address must be also configured on each router. The net address must be configured in such a way that routers in different areas have different area numbers. Net address with area number 1, with area number 2, and with area number 3. The system ID part of the net address, which is the next 6 bytes, must be unique not only in the area, but also in the entire network. Two, one, three, five, six, and four. Otherwise, you will receive a duplicate system ID message. This message appears only when you have the debug command in ISS. As we can see in the figure, the area boundary in ISIS is a link and not rotor. Each rotor in ISIS is located in exactly one area. ISIS rotor are level one, level two by default. In this case, two separate neighbors are created, one for level one and one for level two between all neighboring rotors to optimize ISIS is better to configure internal rotors of an area of the type of level 1 and border rotors of the type of level 1, level 2. Rotors that are only in the backbone pass and are not connected to any level 1 rotor can be configured as level 2 only, which we don't have in our topology. This is the configuration of two routers, IOU1 and IOU2, which IOU2 is an internal router and IOU1 is a level 1, level 2 router, which can be a gateway for internal routers of an area. As you can see in the configuration, the type of being level 1 or level 2 is configured at the interface level in the router 1 with a command ISIS circuit type. If we see the options, for example, in interface ETH0, ISIS circuit type, we have three options, level one, level one, two, or level two only. Interface ETH00 and ETH01 connected to the backbone pass are configured as level two only. An interface ETH02 connected to the inside of the area is configured as level 1, as you can see in the configuration. It is better to make changes always in level 1, level 2 routers. Therefore, internal interfaces are configured as level 1 and interfaces connected to the backbone pass as level 2 interfaces. Otherwise, these rotors create two separate neighborships on each interfaces, one for level one and the other for level two. In the rotor two, unlike rotor one, when you configure a rotor as 
I is type level one. Then all interfaces look like or the other interfaces will automatically be level one. And you don't need to configure them at interface level. As we have not configured here at the interface level in rotor two. It is also true for the level two only rotors. A rotor that is only configured as level two, automatically all interfaces will be also in level two and does not need to be reconfigured. Another point to keep in mind when configuring ISIS is that the system ID must be unique, not just within the area, but throughout the entire network. I've copied the configuration of all rotors already inside the rotors. We can see the routing table of the rotors with the command show IP route. For example, in show in uh, rotor one, show IP route ISIS, and in rotor two, which we are discussing, show IP route ISIS. As we can see, there is only one default route in the routing table of router 2. In ISIS, a level 1, level 2 border router only send default route inside the area by default, which are the level 1 routers, which is the same as totally stop area in OSPF routing protocol. This is the default behavior of the ISIS routing protocol. If you are interested in leaking part of or all of the routes of other areas into routing table of level one routers, you should use the route leaking feature, which we will discuss about in the next sections. Unlike router two, when we check the routing table in router one, which is a level one, level two router, has learned the route of all networks routes learn through the internal interfaces and level one neighbors are labeled as level one and the routes learn through the backbone pass through the backbone and through the external interfaces and layer two neighbors are labeled with level two in the routing table you can also see the neighbors with the command show isis neighbors the neighbor table of rotor one shows that the rotor has level one neighborship with rotor two which is a level one rotor inside the area as internal rotor and level two neighborship with rotor three and rotor five which are located in the backbone pass we can also see the database table as we have seen in the previous section with command show ISIS database, which we will discuss in detail in the next section, and there is no worriness about the details of the database table. The database table in router one shows that this protocol keeps two independent databases, one for level one and the other for level two. Level 1 database contain information learned from level 1 neighbors and level 2 database also contains information learned through level 2 neighbors. Another point you can see in the output of database table is that the value of 1 in the ATT bit in some database entries. In this way, with setting ATT bit, level one, level two rotors inform level one rotors that they are the exit point from the area and therefore level one rotors identify the default gateway to the destination outside of area.